Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss a director's note update that has dropped around an hour ago. So we have here direct director's note number 16, new story chapter 17, and also new content update. So I hope this content update will, won't will disappoint us this time. And um, I'll discuss this. Greetings from Yung Zo Choi, again, the director of our XO Zeros. From this note, I would I will be delivering your updates about the new story content. Several improvements are being made. Okay, so improvements. I do hope that there is new content that they are suggesting that are being made. Okay, so again, so part one would be new story chapter update 17. So another hidden truth behind the queen's death. Okay, the death of Emma. So the end of the battle veiling the truth is coming. Season 3's third story, chapter 17, The Uncomfortable Truth, is being released. So for those who have finished chapter 16, now is your chance to finish chapter 17. Hope, Hopefully a little bit more challenging versus um, the previous chapters, 15 and 16. And um, they have been, you know, um, they have been uncharacteristically easy. I think easy is not the right term. Um, uncharacteristically um, doable. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyway, along with chapter 17 update, the difficulty of chapter 11 to 16 will be lower. So, this is the chance for you guys to be able to um, clear these levels. Um, I haven't myself... Um, had uh, chapter 16 three starred most of it so i'll try it once this um what they call this once this update is released so the update i think is going to drop i'm i'm guessing around probably two weeks from now so expect it around um end of march or beginning of april okay so again we have here um new heroes we have prithioff um, the pretty office is, is the guy here on the left hand side very good design very good um again the design team has outdone themselves again in terms of character design hero design in the middle is dana so i assume she's a magic user and lang i don't know what she uh, what it is not sure if it's a he or a she but i'm glad that they are bringing in characters which are you know are not uh, in human form. So this is actually a great addition to the heroes for Exos Heroes. I suggest they bring out more heroes like this. Like, for example, Ulum, Ulum, um, and uh, Lang actually are, I think, only the two non-humanoid heroes that we have. So uh, please look forward to the new three district hero activities. I'm not sure what they're talking about, but let's find out. I'm not sure as well if they're from St. West. So also let's find out, but it, it's good that we have new characters to the game, particularly the one on the left. He 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 actually looks very badass. So let's look look forward to that. And another April Fools' Quantum Raid. So not really a fan of Quantum Raid, but um, you know I'll play anything you know that that they put out. Um, but I'm not really a fan of Quantum Raid. So it's April Fools' quantum raid so i hope you won't be fooled by this one so the quantum raid is opening on april fool's day theme so i think the update will will, will drop on april 1st so more or less it's it's going to be together with this one in this quantum raid dungeon exosiers our team members will appear in the form of a monster so collect rewards by defeating exosiers strongest boss the art director so you have a chance to defeat the art director here so give him all you got guys so more important move over an alliance support function will be added to the quantum raid you can randomly summon one hero from your alliance quantum raid force in battle with the one spot once you clear the stage with the alliance support one hour of cooldown time is applied you can use the alliance support function up to five times a day so at this point i'm just reading this but i don't understand what it means so let's let's wait for this to be you know for this to come out. So director's intention, again, uh, biggest boss, AD son. This, okay. Anyway, 
Air Squadron rate improvement for the fun of the competition and fairness. The Air Squadron will be improved. To find out about the improvements that have been made, please refer to the notice that we have announced on earlier. So Air Squadron rate improvement notice link. The Air Squadron ranking information update method will be changed along with the Air Squadron. Okay, previously it was updated in real time, but now it will up be updated every hour on the dot. Please understand that, is, that this is to provide you a stabilized system. Okay, there you die station. So here again is another way of dying your hero. So they're going to give us a function to die our weapons. Okay, so total of three parts of the weapon die tab. So die tab also will be added to the weapon die. Okay, so in Zeon's case, die type. One is check pattern pants and die type two is no pattern pants. Okay. Well, um, this is this is actually not part of the weapon, but I'll I'll take it anyway. So non pattern pants. So you have the option as well to take off his pattern pants. Okay. Uh, the list of heroes in Fate Cross that will have the die type will be announced through the regular maintenance notice. Okay. So let's move on. Let's skip the director's uh, tension. So story journal update. Story journal is a content where you can rewatch the past stories. Actually, I like this one because I haven't really been watching the story, you know, in a sequence. Some of them I mostly skipped. So you can review stories, hero battles, core raids, side stories, fate core link stories from here. So. This is now a time to grab a popcorn and look at the story from the start. So this feature I actually appreciate because I'd like to watch them. I don't want to go over each episode just to watch the videos. And now they're archived through the story journal update. Okay, this is good. Um, I'll enjoy watching this. So um, I hope you guys do too. Zebenstunia repetitive battle function added. So... This is actually, um, I think, good if you are in the lower stages and going up. But eventually, you don't, you don't have to repeat it. You have to, you know, battle your way through manual. If you are going up, particularly if you're going up master, master 3, 2, 1, up to grand. So you can't really uh, autoplay or repetitive function this so um again this is good uh if you are clearing the lower stages and you have really a good team already equipment auto growth function and up equipment auto growth function will be added where you can polish and forge the equipment that you are wearing in one go this is kind of good um okay this is good actually because uh, it's really annoying that you have to polish forge polish forge um this is good so it would you know save you time in forging to go to a next level 10 probably from from 40 to 15 and 50 to 60 so i'm up for this nation circle exchange function added this one i'll discuss more on okay so they know that we have been you know um, mining this nation circle and we've had a problem actually in mining this because sometimes it's a different nation that we're mining for, but we're actually trying to unleash potential a different character of a different nation. So this provides us with more flexibility, but this does not answer uh, directly what we need. So this answers us directly because it's a conversion system, uh, two is to one. So, for example, you convert um, light to, so, sorry, wasted red to green land. So, two wasted red, you'll get one green land uh, uh, circle exchange. So, basically, it's just an exchange system, but it doesn't answer our need for basically additional sources that we could mine these. So, again, I like it kind of 50%. Is it okay if I like it only 50%? Um, it's a start, but we need more, you know, we need more uh, areas in which we could mine these, um, these currency. Okay, you hear that, director? So we need more of um, areas where we could mine. So Coliseum random buff function 
this one is also again um i like this 50 percent of the way 50 percent because this and this doesn't really answer what we need for the coliseum the coliseum should be should be you know should be more on should give us more um what they call this more more options to choose from not just these buffs that are given to to heroes that are common magic rare so again um take away please for coliseum if i may add please take away the the what they call this the autoplay for certain stages going up and actually the the randomness of the heroes that you'll be getting out of each battle is actually ridiculous it's usually you know from if i scale it you may get um zero to the from the worst to temp to the best so it's it's really it's really not that you know appealing and most of the time your opponents have a very tough team on the other side so in terms of re-rolling you have the lower end of the stick for this one so again they should you know either change this one or revamp it completely into a better game where it's more enjoyable okay so door to creation ui upgrades of virus production re recipes have been added to the door creation we felt the need to improve reach the ui upgrade classification was changed based on the compensation method which can be obtained for each recipe so in addition the menu production sheet was organized in a two-step format which is improved to make it more convenient for users to use so again um i'm up for any improvement on the door creation make it more you know appealing in terms of what we can ex exchange there what we can you know get out of the door creation because again this game is is really all about resources heroes fate core so i do hope that this improvement will make a difference but if it's only a ui it's more or less just a user interface okay so moving on to signature force so new group saint west is added to signature force so uh queen carrie will have her signature force already so saint west signature force will be open to so stage one's fourth enhancement Okay, so stage one up to four. So at least she gets her signature force already. For those who want to use her, she doesn't still she does she still doesn't have her fate core, so might as well, you know, wait for you know wait for her fate core. Okay, so but you have the option to to make sure that her signature force is leveled up already. Okay. So please look forward to the heroes of Saint West. So there are only three and others that aren't good. Okay, so for Eternal Bond, the fifth Eternal Bond that may that that many of you have been waiting for will be revealed. So the heroes will who whose user will be bonding at the time, uh, Shufraken and Hotman Schmidt. Okay, so right now basically Schmidt is getting his FC. So most of you might be getting Schmidt, or most of you or some of you will also be getting you know um, Shufraken because of the meta. So. It's really a toss-up between the two of them. It's more of who do you need at this point? Who do you want to build your team around with? And for me, for my opinion, I think I'd get Shufraken because I'm almost done with um, Wasted Red for Signature Force and for Transcend for Garf. I might go after the Signature Force of um, North Von Frosty. So I need him. Plus, I, I need Shufraken. Plus, I have two Fate Course of Shufraken that I need to equip with the character. So, two extra Fate Course, which I detached um, the Fate Course from the character because of Signature Force. I had to level up Signature Force. So, again, I have extra. So, I think I'd go with Shufraken for this one. I don't need Schmidt as of now, unless I change my mind <laughs> about his Fate Core. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So this is actually one of the funniest, funniest improvements that they have because there has been complaints in the community about their free fate core pulls, um, the random pulls that some of them got FC Chatty, a silver fate core that you don't really need more copies of. 
So again, I like this one because they should have, you know, they should have done this immediately. The exclusion of recruitment of Silver Fate Core. Okay, so Silver Fate Core will be excluded from the recruit and recruit list. That's good. I won't go further for this one. So hero management, the nation tab is added to the management filter. With the growth importance of nation and addition of a new nation, we have separated the nation into into separate tabs. Okay, so next would be Fate Core related UI. The Fate Core related UI has been improved conveniently. So please check the details below. Improvement in Fate Core management to make it easier to check heroes wearing condition. Okay, well, fusioning hero, the information of Fate Core will be enhanced and the hero is equipped with the Fate Core in the material list will be indicated while fusioning fate core when using lock here so uh, why did pop up okay it's a warning while enhancing fate core equip fate core will be fairly indicated among the material resources okay so it's just a user interface a bunch of warnings before you fusion this has been talked about already are already in i think in one of the you know updates and uh, probably have a pop-up for you know for Fusion, a warning, if you fusion this, you might lose this, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Off we go. So exploration, because the exploration con content uses the same team used in the story, we check the inconvenience having to replace the team formation from time to time in terms of story progress and hero development. Okay. So we added the ability to indicate whether to have a battle with Gale in the world, then Gale Icon will appear to check whether Gale is treated be. Okay. So basically they're doing something in terms of just equipping Gale during exploration. Okay. Um separate, uh, saved separately. So you have I think two separate lineups that you can save. We also added a bit to indicate whether the battle Okay. So that, that's just it. So probably another you know it's it's just a, it's just a option option one this lineup option two okay so we need to catch gale okay so here it is since the different items are tied up in a single mailbox it's convenient to receive uh all the unwanted items while using the receive all function therefore the charge and etc in the mailbox tab will be changed as shown below okay levison item okay pass on that one here introduction in the hero introduction you can check out the faded rated hero and faded recruitment's recruiting scene okay additional effects appearance effects very good the recruiting scene is displayed according to appearance of the hero current appear current appearance and if the hero's fate core is equipped you can check the recruitment recruiting scene of the fate core okay so far i've seen the closing comments already but i'm not really impressed so far so let's see the closing comments of the director but so far new no new comment to look forward to it's the usual okay um new characters to look forward to new heroes but let's read the closing comments. Let's give this director a chance. So this note is focused on improving the existing content. Okay, so only in the existing content. I would especially like to thank the users for the feedbacks that helped us to make such improvements. Yeah, uh, but have, been you, have you been listening to the majority of the players? Through continuous monitoring and improvement tests, we will become continuously developing exos heroes yes please do because if you don't you know if you don't improve your game now you won't have that much players you know after a year so there are a lot of competition art there in terms of you know the gaming mobile games so gotcha games you guys better step it up in addition to improvements we are also preparing new content for exos heroes so i'm going to mark this day that they said this one because they're nearing already a year so it's march april may so they're probably in, it, in their 10th month hopefully before they turn one year they could roll out this one 
this new content and probably be consistent about rolling out you know new content content i'm saying new content is that the, this content should be a game mode should be a dungeon it should be a dungeon should be a tower whatever it should you know appeal to everyone it should you know entice the the advanced players to play the game more because right now we're just cruising we're just you know autopiloting everything and this game is a beautiful game the artwork the you know the theme the design just create more content guys just create more content i know you've been putting out new heroes new fate cores it's impressive content wise it's lacking lacking so much so i'm happy that this that you put this out but please deliver your promise blow us away with with what you think is the best content for exo zero so i'm i'm waiting to be blown away with this one okay so please please guys please be serious about your content okay so ready to yeah, so if we are if we are ready we're planning to reveal those through various channels okay so there's one more thing i want to say there's no obvious okay okay so nothing oh uh, feel free to give them feedback but thanks everyone for explaining the game so well it says it all um more or less the game again been here for nearly you know more than a year for korea for global launch nearing 10 months or 10 months or nearing a year so again um i'd like to close this update with i'm hoping a lot would change in terms of content for exo zeros or not not really change but would be added new content added that you know would be bleeding through our our noses with content that is exciting that is um that is um you know we won't get bored you know we need content we need to be entertained with content we need to entertain ourselves with content so please make sure that you deliver your promise i will hold you to that exo zeros promise <laughs> okay so anyway guys for this update um please write down in the comment section below um please feel free to you know um write your comments what you think is nice about this update do you really think that it that new content would be good can you would you write to predict what content they would that they would put out so put them down in the comments below okay anyway guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out <laughs>